New tonight, the Republican Civil War gets uglier. The Arizona GOP wants to punish three of Arizona's highest profile Republicans, Governor Doug Ducey, Jeff Flake, and Cindy McCain. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick explains the potential impact. The punishment is called a censure, a vote of disapproval, but it has a lot of Republicans wondering why the party is doing this to itself. Kelly Ward's STHU hashtag started it. She's told you to shut the hell up. What, what's your response to, the, to those people? Well, I think what I would say is the feeling's mutual. It's a Republican civil war, but there is nothing civil about it. The Kelly Ward-led Arizona Republican Party will vote in two weeks on censuring Arizona's sitting Republican Governor Doug Ducey, the state's last Republican U.S. Senator Jeff Flake, and the widow of the party's former presidential nominee, Cindy McCain. All that coming as national Republicans tell Ward to knock it off. The chairman of the Republican Party nationally understands that the chairman of the Republican Party in Arizona is a complete goofball here. The state party wants to punish Ducey for his emergency order to control the coronavirus, Flake and Cindy McCain for insufficient loyalty to the Trump cause. The censure's largely symbolic. When you lose the Chamber of Commerce and you're a Republican, <laughs> that's not good. But the Trumpist GOP is scaring off business donors. We need to be looking forward, not backward. And longtime Arizona Republicans worry about the censure's message to voters. It does nothing to advance our cause. It does nothing to advance the cause of liberty to increase voter registration or to increase voter turnout. McCain tweeting her response. Future Republican candidates really have to question if the current party leadership represents their philosophy and values. Time for some soul searching in the Arizona GOP. Flake texting, if condoning the president's behavior is required to stay in the party's good graces, I'm just fine being on the outs. Governor Ducey's office declined to comment. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, Bram, thanks.